Hello Capricorn, this is Renee. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading about who is your next big romance. Who is coming into your life? We're going to take a look at who this person is, their characteristics. First off, we're going to take a look at your energy, take a look at their energy. We're going to look into what kind of characteristics they have. And we're going to pull some other messages that gives you a little bit more insight into this person, into their background, into what they're all about. So, if this interests you, stay tuned. And of course, if this resonates... Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your sun, moon, or rising. If I have them uploaded. You may resonate more with one of those signs. So let's get started. Spirit, let's have a card for Capricorn. What is Capricorn's energy? about this next big romance that's coming into their life. What is Capricorn's energy? Okay, we have treat yourself to something beautiful today. So Capricorn, <clears throat> I feel like you're really taking care of yourself. You're really looking out for your own needs. Um, you may be standing strong. And I'm sorry, reaching over. Let's see. Um, but I'm feeling like this ne next big romance for you, Capricorn. I'm getting a feeling it's going to come sooner than you think if you're single. If you're single and unattached, I feel like it's coming sooner than you think. And now, if you're looking for information on your current romance, yeah, you can find that here as well. Um, but we're really taking a look at new romance. And we have called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. Okay, so Capricorn. You may be called, you may feel like you have a purpose in something that you're doing. You also have weight. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. So this may be something that you are manifesting and it's going to take time for it to transpire. It's going to take time for it to come through. Um, it may be something that is still in process. It's still something. There, there's still a few things that you're working through, Capricorn. But I feel like while you're waiting, while you're waiting for this to transpire, I feel like you're doing the work. You're working on yourself. You're taking time out to feel good about whatever it is that you're feeling. Whatever it is that you're feeling. You're working through your feelings. You're working through any emotions. Okay, yeah, we have big, happy changes. So this person, this person that you're dealing with, they're going through big, happy changes. We also have unlikely so I'm feeling like this person is very in between with their feelings. This may be something that's very unexpected on both of your parts. It may be something that just comes out of the blue. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, they may not be looking for love at the moment. They may be focused on themselves as well. 
Because I feel like this person that's coming into your life is going through big changes. They're going through transformations. They're, they're going through lifestyle change. Something is kind of like a tower movement mixed up with you know the the death card this is huge for them you know total transformation total change that they can't control and it feels like it feels overwhelming like how am i going to go through these changes with myself and i'm dealing with someone else's changes as well and I feel like you kind of see that right from the start. I feel like that's the reason why you feel like you're called. But I feel like, and it's going to seem odd, so it may not resonate right away for you, Capricorn. But I feel like you're called to be this person's helpmate. You're called to see them through this tough time. You may be called to give them advice. They may lean on your shoulder for advice and not even realize what they're doing. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like love comes out of this situation. Love, love kind of transpires from you leaning on each other for help. If that makes any sense at all. You know? And if you think about it, so many things happen. You may already know this person. This person may be your friend. You know? Um, we'll look deeper in the cards to see. But I feel like this person has been through an awful lot. They've been through an awful lot. And you are called to help them. I feel like you have a calling to be drawn to this person. I feel like this person's magnetic chemistry is kind of drawing you to them. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look at what else we have. We have, <clears throat> you have the tree. You have a manifesting miracle. See, I feel, I felt like you were manifesting this person into your life. Or they're manifesting you. Um, but it says, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow guidance. So Capricorn, I really feel like you are manifesting this person or this person is manifesting you. You're, like I said, I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on your priorities. You're taking care of yourself. You're putting yourself first. And I feel like you know, normally you may not do that. Normally you may not put yourself first. So I feel like it's really good that you are. You're working on being more grounded. I feel your crown chakra opening. Your heart chakra opening. Um, you may be speaking positive affirmations to yourself and you may be saying them daily I I kind of see you having certain messages taped on your mirror having certain messages uh, posted around the house you know for you to speak to yourself these positive affirmations in certain times that you need them you know okay we have the dove so you're flying high right now. You're, you're definitely finding healing, finding inspiration. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, that's why I feel you have a calling. You have a calling, Capricorn. Let's get some cards for this other person. Let's get some cards for this person. What is going on with this person, Spirit? What kind of situation is he going through? Or she? Okay, we have the heart and the woman. Beautiful card. 
we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in and just like i said i feel like this person is going through a lot so they're having a hard time finding joy they're having a hard time finding pleasure in their life something to focus on something to believe in um i feel like that's kind of far and in between we have a few of them okay we have power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time and i feel like that's where unlikely comes in because i feel like this person is unlikely to know the difference between saying yes and saying no i feel like they find it hard they find it hard to say no. They find it hard to, you know, let someone know that they're crossing their boundaries, that they, they're being pushed to the limit. I feel like this person hasn't set good boundaries. So they, they're not letting people know when they're pushed to the limit, when they've had enough or when they feel like they've been overextended i feel like this person needs to learn that information they they need knowledge when it comes to saying no to to people um to put themselves as a priority i just feel like this person doesn't take themselves as a priority they kind of overextend themselves and say yes for no good reason you know we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires yeah I feel like this person needs to understand how worthy they are they need to understand how special they truly are i don't feel like they know that yet and we also have surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives letting go and and all will work out let go and all will work out yeah so the, this person has yet to find out how to let go how to let go of past events. I, I feel like this person, how do I say this? I really feel like this person, they may have an ex still in their life, still making demands. And they just don't know how to cut them loose. I feel like this person wants to cut whatever is, you know, overburdening them. I feel like they want to cut it loose, but I feel like they, they really, really don't have the tools to know how. They don't have the heart to say no. I kind of feel like they don't have the heart to say no. Tell me about this person. What kind of characteristics does this person have for Capricorn? What kind of characteristics does this person have? What kind of person is this spirit? You have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we have, spirit? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. World. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, the hangman. I was feeling that. Okay. The Four of Pentacles.
the Justice card. And the Temperance. Yeah, I really feel like this person is going through healing. And we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom. I really feel like this person is going through healing. They're going through healing because they are so overburdened. They are so overextended. They really carry a lot on their shoulders. This person may be, may be taking care of other people in his family. Um, this may be someone who's very responsible. Someone who works very hard um, with the Seven of Pentacles. They work very hard. But I feel like this person has learned lessons from this. I feel like they've learned lessons from being so overburdened. And I feel like this person is at the end of their rope. You know, they are just carrying so much. They're dropping stuff. They're forgetting about things. They're forgetting about important things that they shouldn't forget about. You know what I mean? They are not able to take care of all the responsibilities that they have because they're, they're taking care of people other than themselves. They may have friends. They may have family who borrow money frequency, frequently. Um, they may have to pay bills at other residences because they're just a nice person. They're just you know, free hearted, kind, generous, you know, and I feel like they kind of extend themselves in that way. But I feel like they're, they're learning the lesson. They're, they want this to be done. They want this to be over with. They want to learn a better way. They want to learn something different. And I feel like that's what you're called to do, Capricorn. I feel like you're called to teach this person how to take care of themselves first before taking care of everybody else. I feel like you are being called to show this person another way to, as you move through this situation, I feel like your relationship builds and builds on this friendship, on this friendship that you develop while you're helping this person through this tough time. And Capricorn, I feel like this person, this person is very driven. They're very passionate. I feel like they're very good at whatever they do. Whatever their profession is, whatever they do for work, they're very good at it. They're very efficient. They have a lot of knowledge and a lot of passion for what they do. I feel like they're in a position that, that they kind of love to do. You know, and I feel like this person is very generous. They're very passionate. They're very caring. I feel like they feel very strong about certain situations. They have strong feelings about, you know, what they're doing. Now they just need to gain wisdom, gain the enlightenment of how to be better. They need to take a different perspective on everything that they're sacrificing by being more than what they need to be to other people. This person is very thoughtful. They're very caring. They are very generous. And I feel like they're also very, I, I, feel, I feel like this person, they may have some kind of job in the tech world. They may have some kind of job in um, maybe a financial institution, maybe something like that. Um, some kind of office setting because I feel like this person plays with numbers. They definitely play, play with numbers. They balance things out before they leave their position for their shift. They have to, they have to be in balance. They have to um, 
calculates certain things. Their calculations have to match. That's what I'm feeling, Capricorn. I feel like that matters a lot in the position that they have. But I feel like this person's desires go way beyond what they're doing at the moment. This person's desires are finding what really matters to them, finding their purpose, finding what keeps them in balance, makes them more focused. This person may want some kind of position in law. They might want to have some kind of position in law enforcement. Or as oddly as it seems, I'm feeling like this person wants to be a library administrator. I don't know where that came from, but spirits let me know that. Someone wants to be an administrator of some type. But I also feel like, you know, with the Justice card and the Temperance, both of these cards deal with balance. Both of these cards deal with patience and kind of cause and effect. Doing some kind of generous gesture comes back to you in certain ways. Karma, patience, the truth comes out, you know? And I, I feel like this person is, is sort of working on finding their truth. They're finding themselves right now. They're working very hard at finding themselves. I feel like they're not at that point yet. If this is someone that you know, I feel like they're going to come to you for advice. What they should do in a certain situation. Or you might meet this person with them coming to you for advice. Maybe you're a sort of counselor or a financial advisor or some kind of profession that counsels individuals. Maybe you work in an HR department, somewhere like that. Um, but I feel like you, you meet this person and you give them advice on what to do. They ask for your advice, what to do. They ask you to give them your knowledge, your wisdom. You know, how to get through the situation. Tell me more about this person's characteristics. Tell me more about this person's characteristics. The Knight of Swords. So, I definitely feel like this person, this person really knows how to communicate. They just don't know how to say no. This person likes to talk. They like to communicate. They like to spend time with other people. But I feel like this person does make some quick decisions. But they are very witty. They're very smart and intelligent. Maybe wise beyond their years. Yeah, but they have the, the Ten of Swords here. So I definitely feel like this person, they're, they're kind of done with feeling like they're being used. They're done with that. But they're trying to find a way out. I feel like they are in this Eight of Swords moment where they, they really have put themselves in a situation and they don't know the way out. You know, we have the Five of Wands. This person may be 
They may be into sports. They may be very athletic. I'm feeling like this person may like baseball. I don't know why I'm getting baseball. But I feel like this person may be really into baseball. But they definitely enjoy sports. They may be on a lead. They may be athletic. They may run. For some of you, I feel like this person is very competitive in work. Maybe they're a physical trainer in some way. Maybe that's the numbers that they have to deal with. They have to deal with pounds that people lose or calories that they have to count. But I feel like this person, that could be the scales as well. This person may be a personal trainer. They may be a, a weight lifter. But it has to do with numbers. This person, they look at the scale. Okay, and we have the nine of pentacles. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person, this person is single. This person is available. Um, this person is very independent. They're also very um, knowledgeable. I feel like this person really knows how to go about making more income, finances. They may be they may be an investor for some of you. It's definitely something to do with numbers. It's something to do with numbers. Okay, and we have the Five of Swords. So, yeah, like I said, this person is conflicted. They're conflicted. They're fighting a losing battle. Um, and they're fighting this losing battle within themselves to get rid of all of these burdens. This Ten of Wands have, has come up again on the bottom. So I feel like they're winning a losing battle. They, they have a problem saying no. They just don't know how. And that's what they're going to need help in. They're going to need help with um, learning this concept of saying no. Tell me some personal information about this person's spirit. Tell me what this person has been through. Tell me more about this person that Capricorn will be dealing with. Okay. I want to be your lover. So this person, I feel like they start out with friends, but they actually initiate moving into the second phase. I feel like this person may make the first move on you, Capricorn. Definitely. And we've got, it's complicated. So yeah, I feel like this person feels like their life is so complicated because it's so overburdened. I feel like this person doesn't want to burden someone else with their problems. So they feel like, you know, I'm not sure about the situation. It's complicated because I have so much going on. I take care of so many people. You know, I, I'm i constantly asked by other people to help them with certain things, you know. Um, so I feel like... They don't want to burden you with their burdens. But they're, they're needing your comfort. Very much so, Capricorn. They're needing your comfort. I need you now. They're like surrendering unto you. Yeah, they're making a full surrender. 
for you to help them through this time. And I need to be honest. So, and I feel like this person, they, they may not be honest with themselves about the situation. They may be getting played on many different levels by many different people. And I don't think that they can see the, the big picture. Yeah, they're being portrayed. They're being betrayed. Betrayal. They're being played. They're being played by other people. Capricorn. And, okay. So are you their secret admirer? Or are they your secret admirer? Which way does it go? Yeah, I, like I said, I feel like you initially start out as friends. Like I said, this person is asking for your help, for your advice. They want help in, you know, easing this burden off of themselves. And... They're falling in love in the process. They're wondering, do you really care? Do you really care or are you just giving me this advice to, you know, help me through this process? Do you really care about me as a person or are you just helping me to be nice? That That's how I'm feeling about this situation. That's how I'm feeling about this situation. Tell me a little bit more about this. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this. What is your advice for Capricorn? What is your advice for Capricorn? The Two of Cups. So, Capricorn, this is definitely going to turn into love. This is definitely going to turn into love. This is someone who... I think you build up to that point. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this is someone that you can be very strong, very powerful with. I feel like the lessons that this person will be learning, this world card, the lessons that they are learning are going to make them more powerful, more content, more happy. And with you at their side, Capricorn, that just puts them over the edge. You have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That is happiness. That's love. That's abundance. This is a power couple. This is everything your heart desires as far as love, material wealth, good health. This is important. This is something that grows into something very beautiful. When it just started from friendship and advice. That's amazing. You know? Tell me a little bit more. Tell me more, Spirit, please. Page of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like this person, this person is the apple of your eye. You know, you are opening up your passion to this person and this person is opening up your their passion to you this person is bringing out a fire a, a kind of spirit that's being revived that's being awakened um this person is at a beginning phase i feel like you know what i feel like this person may not have felt Real, real love, you know? I mean, endless, boundless love. The kind of love that just conquers anything. I don't feel like this person has ever felt that. This is something that's brand new, either to you or to this person. But th these are brand new feelings, brand new emotions, brand new passion. I feel like you're going to be experimenting with this person. You're going to be opening up to this person 
in ways you may have never, ever opened up to someone before. This person brings out something in you and you and them. Yeah, this is definitely someone that you are going to create a family with. This is someone that you are able to give everything you got with. This is gifts. This is innocence. This is nostalgia. So, you know, I feel like maybe both of you are going through a lot of firsts in this situation. Maybe both of you are coming into a lot of new passion, new fire, new, you know, courage. Something that, that brings a bold flame into your heart. You know, you have the king of wands at the bottom. So I definitely feel like this is something that's very fiery, very passionate, very aware um, of circumstances. Tell me about your love, Capricorn. What are you feeling in love? What are you feeling in love? We have the palm tree. So, Capricorn, you are looking for stability, for security, for permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. I feel like that's what you're looking for. That's what you're getting with this relationship. I feel like you're getting a lot of long-term security, a lot of long-term jeopardy from this person. This person wants to build a family with you. This is going to be your helpmate, your soulmate. I feel like you're teaching this person how to be that. You're teaching this person how to be your perfect soulmate, your perfect helpmate. And I feel like this person is surrendering unto you. Do with me as you must because I'm yours. That's how I feel, you know. I feel like they start out with, you know, it's complicated. I don't know how to do this. But I feel like you teach them. Even if you're not knowledgeable about the process, Capricorn, I feel like you're teaching them. You're learning together. You're learning these lessons. You're starting a new cycle. You're building something very new, taking these big, happy changes, you know? And I feel like you're, you're both growing. What do we have for this person, Spirit? What's coming in for this person? The Grim Reaper. Yeah, see, they're having trouble. They're going through a transformation. They're not thinking about a relationship right now. I think that this relationship is taking them by surprise. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. They're, they're transforming. They're, they're growing. They need to grow. They need to transform. They need to go through these changes in order to be more open and receptive to you. And I feel like they're growing into that. You're showing them how to do that. Capricorn you have kisses unconditional loving giving and receiving affection falling in love so I mean to be totally honest Capricorn you may be the person falling in love but I feel like this person is chasing you this person is chasing you because they want answers. They want to, they want knowledge. They want growth. You know? What is this person feeling, spirit? Tell me more about this person. The clock. They need time. It takes time. End time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. So, yeah... This person, I feel like they're healing. This person's healing. And this person may want to take it slow. They want to count the clock. You know? They want to take time. They want to 
really understand the process. And I feel like Capricorn, you have a lot of patience. Capricorns have a lot of patience because they're very reliable. They're very loyal. And Capricorns do not like change. I know that for a fact. Capricorns do not like change. So I feel like this person is, you know, wanting to take their time. They're wanting to grow into this situation. But this definitely could be your soulmate, Capricorn. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Look at this. The Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Six of Cups, Soulmate. Wow. This is a very strong reading. Very strong reading. This love is going to be like no love that you've ever felt before, Capricorn. It's going to be very strong. Very enduring. Okay, we're going to go ahead and leave that reading there. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And um, if this resonates, please make a comment below. I'd love to read your comments and also share if you want. Share if you will. I appreciate it. And Happy New Year to you, Capricorn. Until the next reading, many blessings, love and light.